Hey fishy people, welcome back to the channel. For this video we're going to be talking about an interesting fish that I think are beautiful. That fish is the electric blue Akara. The electric blue Akara, or if you prefer the scientific name, Ando Akara Holcher, is a member of the cichlid family of fish, but compared to some of its cousins, they are considered a much more peaceful fish. Now, these guys are freshwater fish, of course, from slow-moving rivers and lakes in Central and South America. They're going to have a blue gradient to them with some whites and yellows thrown in. So the colors are going to come through very well. The back of their tail is going to start with a nice, rich blue to it. And then slowly it's going to gradient full, fill out to like a grayish black body to the head. So it's a very nice looking fish. Now as far as tank parameters, the small size tank wise for these guys, probably about a 30 gallon tank. As they're going to max out around 7 inches. Every extra one you add, they recommend a extra 15 gallons of water. Water temp wise, you're going to want to keep these between 68 to 82. With the temperature 76 being the most ideal ph wise 6 to 7.5 nice typical range right there uh, they would benefit from some plants driftwood and rocks in their tank along with some type of sandy substrate or a smooth gravel pebble type substrate because they are going to probably dig it up on you so you don't want anything sharp and jagged that's going to you know injure your fish these guys are a carnivore and in the wild they're actually you know very ravenous hunters uh, the ones we have in the hobby are much more subdued than that of those in the wild. So for food in the wild, they're going to be eating crustaceans, shrimp, mussels, worms. So in your tank, you're going to want to give them things like blood worms or various pellets and flake foods. They're going to have a high concentration of protein in them. They can be housed with other fish. Uh, similarly sized Central and South American cichlids are good. Corridors and plecos are also common things basically things that aren't going to be so small where they can eat them now this is a seven inch fish so they've got a decently sized mouth on them so you'd need bigger tank mates in there and if you're only working with a 30 gallon you're probably not going to be able to put too much in there other than some corridors on the bottom level of the tank now things that should be avoided are other liquids uh things like angelfish for one and any other extremely aggressive fish not going to go a good pairing for these guys now overall, these are a stunning looking fish. They're not overly hard to keep. They can accept a wide range of pH and temperatures. Um, but given the limited tank mates, and that they do require a slightly larger tank, and you know, I'm a community fish guy. If I can't put a lot of different fish together, I'm not gonna give them, but I'm still gonna give these guys an eight out of 10. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know your experience with electric blue cars. If you've kept them, if you want to kept them, if you're on the fence about them, let me know down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. 